morning. My, my name is Nikolai, and, and I work as a meta engineer at Automatic. You probably know us from our work for, for, the, for the WordPress open source project, and our main, uh, and our main project is, is WordPress.com, which, which is a hosted service for uh, building websites. It has a little bit more than 100 million users. And about two years ago, we, we, we decided to uh, uh, try and, and improve both the user and the uh, developer experience. And we rewrote all, all of our admin in interface on uh, WordPress.com using JavaScript and, and our REST API. And the name of this project is, is Calypso. It was a monumental effort, but, but it was totally worth it because everybody enjoyed it, both the users enjoyed the, the improved performance and uh, reactiveness. And all of the uh, developers really enjoyed building reusable components in, in the uh, uh, UI. Of course, it was all built, built on uh, React using ES6, Webpack, Flux, uh, recently Redux. And, and we have a, a lot of fun tech challenges ahead, like we, we are, we are tr uh, trying to make it work offline, uh, we want to do plugins, ser server-side rendering, but e even though the uh, tech party is really, really exciting, today I want to talk about s something else around Calypso. And this is that Calypso is 100% open source. We actually deployed directly from the, from, the pub, from the public GitHub repo, and almost all of the conversations and all of the code reviews happen out, out in the public on GitHub. Uh, and we, we get this question very, very often, like why? why? Why would you open source your main competitive uh, advantage and, and your main product? And to be honest, given the ethos uh, of our organization, th uh, this is not even the right question. Probably the better question for us is, why not? Why, why uh, would we hide be behind a, a private repository? And why, uh, and, and especially given that a, a lot of the rest of our code is open source anyway. Of course, in addition to the, to the philosophical uh, advantages, there are a few more practical benefits too. Uh, number zero, we, we have a lot happier developers. You know, open uh, source is like, the go is, is, is like the Golden Gate Bridge. It is, it is very, very pretty and, and everybody loves it, but, but very few people go uh, there because it, it is very windy and chilly. And it's, the, and it's the same with uh, developers. They, they don't write open source very, very, very often for uh, various reasons. But now, a lot of our developers get to write all of their code out in, in the open in, in their daily work job, which, which of course may, makes for a really great GitHub pages for uh, them later. <laughs> uh, an another benefit is that random people get to fix your random bugs. We, we have more, more than 100 PRs from non-automaticians, and, and even we get PRs like, like from people like the author of Lodash, who, who just told us how to write Lodash stuff. <laughs> um, an an another good ben benefit is that Calypso is an example of a, of a large open source uh, single page application. So if you need an example of a, of a complex user interaction, totally go and look at our plug, plugin updater. Or if you are writing an open source fr framework, Calypso can be a, a good test bed for you to, to show others that, that, that your framework scales. For example, Andre Stouts can probably rewrite pieces of Calypso in Psycho.js and convince uh, the community uh, that it uh, scales. But to be honest, the biggest benefit for me is that we, by, by open sourcing Calypso, are uh, sending a message to our team that, that it's okay. 
It's okay to take risks. It's okay to make mi mi mistakes, even if the, if the whole world is watching. It's all okay. And, and by allowing ourselves this type of humility, and by uh, allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, this actually makes us more open and, and makes us better developers. And if you trust psychological research, it, it, it even makes us better people. And this is the beauty of open source. Thank you.